they were building the destroyers at the ironworks, and they had to have a deep enough channel for all these destroyers to go out to Kennebec and, and go into the service. When Harold Grundy was 19 years old, he got a job with the company that had been hired to dredge the Kennebec. He remembers that the Army Corps' contract called for the river to be at least 31 feet deep at mean low water. All the way down, there's about seven or eight locations on the river where the ledge came down from the shore into the river and the, the ships couldn't go through. It wasn't deep enough for their, the hull to go through. So we had to blast out these ledges and make a deep channel at these different locations. Grundy was one of thousands of workers who came to Bath during the 1940s when the shipyards shifted from building yachts to building destroyers for the war. At the height of the war effort, Bath Ironworks launched a new ship every 17 days. If I felt that we were doing something to help the country in some way, that's the way I felt. I was just a young boy and I didn't realize what was going on, but I thought it was a good, good thing to be doing. 